Hey guys, welcome to part two of my story time on my life and what's been going on and especially we're going to be talking about my story time on how I gave birth to my daughter and what's been going on since she's been born. Welcome to Girls Talk Book. We are now about to start. So what's up YouTube? It's your girl Shaw Day and I am back with another video. This is part two on me speaking on my life with, with my daughter. She's one years old. Um, I work at Publix at the moment. I'm at work, but I'm gonna let you guys know what's been going on. And now you guys are gonna listen to the tea and everything that's been experiencing for the last three months. What's up guys? Um, I'm having a break. I am on the screen. I'm over here eating, you know, country up while I'm at work on break. So, in the beginning of the year, you know, due to my child's father being on, on rehab, it's just been me and my daughter with everything that I've been struggling with. I've been trying to work, make money, and just have stability and working and being there and being better as a person. I need to. <laughs> I want everybody to keep a smile on your face because life surely can knock you down if you let it. So that's one of the things I'm learning. Sunday. I just wanted you guys to like really take the time to know that you are blessed and you can be in this world. Um, I'm on break right now still. I go back to break at 515 but I wanted you guys to know that don't let nothing in life stop you from being who you are. Like you can't let people or anything stop you from being you being that person that you need to be and God will restore your life and restore the things that, that are broken around you and I feel like God really does love those that that love him and I want everybody to be honest with yourself because starting of this year like I realized like after I had my daughter like it was a lot of changes that happened especially with my life um, my relationship my relationship and especially with, you know, the love that I have for my daughter, the uncontinuous love that I don't know how to go about life, but I choose to make everything right because I know that life can be hard with everything that you've been, you've been through and the struggles that, you know, like you can't let go of. Um... I pray for change. I pray for good things to happen. Um, I know that this year for me was very tough. Um, I've been working hard, working at Publix while trying to make a living for my daughter so she could have a roof over her head and putting her in school so she could make everything, you know, my best bet. But I just pray for love and I pray to continue on with my life and not be sad or don't know what to do but just trying to be the woman that I know I can be and a lot of times that people do forget um to love on the one so you guys I'm really hoping for a new year to bring new beginnings because this year has been a lot um I can say that it's been stressful uh, I want everybody to be happy and blessed. Don't stop being you for nobody because this year has given, has brought a lot of, you know, stress. But you got to understand that things happen for a reason. And I realize now, like in the year, I'm really ready to be happy and focus on myself because I only, I only have my daughter and I can't risk my life for other people but I would only would want to risk my life for my daughter because she knows 
mommy is all she has. So it's just been pretty tough, you know, especially with my first labor. When I first had got, when I first had her, and the labor pain was, was you know, I, I would say wasn't that wasn't that bad, but I know now I'm ready to be on my own. What's up, YouTube? So I'm I'm home. Um, I didn't get to finish posting and doing the video. Throughout the video, it's going to be cut into sections because I had to stop. I had to go back to work and I couldn't, I didn't want to record with my phone being at work. So now I'm home in the flesh. It's your girl, Sade in the fucking flesh. You get what I mean? Bad bitches on a bad yard ting. So I want everybody to be, to stay blessed, stay happy because at the end of the day, life comes and motherfucking goes because you only live once. No. So, I want everybody to stay prayed up. Um, between In the beginning of between of the year of what, August, it's been a lot of shit going on. Get what I mean? Not having money, struggling like a single mom, and just not doing, you feel me? Like, just wasting motherfucking time with these dog ass niggas. You know what I mean? So. Everybody, you know us females. You know this is girl talk, but bitch, we let it out, bitch. We comment, we pose, any motherfucking thing you gotta say, bitch, just comment that shit and let it be known. So I feel like this year was the year where I went through a whole bunch of shit. I'm not even gonna fucking lie. I do fucking feel like I could do so much better with myself and in my life, but I'm not even worried about that shit. Cause you know what, I got. Homegirls that really do give a fuck about me, and I got, you feel me, I got my dogs, my day ones, they really do give a fuck about me, they got my dog, they like, they got my back, you know what I mean, so, I want everybody to keep being you, and you know, this is Girl Talk Book, and I want you guys to stay, stay tuned to part three, which will be, what, probably like tomorrow, because I'm gonna, probably gonna post it, it's gonna be slash a vlog, slash everything in between me doing my story time, and I just pray that everybody stays happy, stay lucky, and stay tuned to the next video. Bye.